It's the final day of the Vision Show 2014, but don't be too disappointed because we've got a jam-packed show coming up for you after this break. vision stand and today we're looking at the bigger picture you're launching a new brand at the show tell me all about it yeah we have uh, the first time here um, the new allied vision brand uh, which is basically uh, synthesizing uh, what we believe in is the strength of our company which is that we don't just sell cameras and technologies but that we really engage into an in-depth partnership with our clients with our customers to provide them solutions that helps them um, designing um, performance systems. How is this going to affect the traffic sector? Well, in fact, we, we, we do have a lot of partnerships and, and, and collaborations with uh, various customers in the uh, uh, ITS industry, uh, providing uh, imaging solutions for them to design applications for speed enforcement, for toll collection, for red light enforcement, um, and a lot of different uh, traffic applications. Allied Vision has loads of different partners and we're going to be talking to one of their customers right now who's on the stand. We have been involved in uh, computer vision and in traffic technologies since uh, 10 years and we have been invited by uh, AVT and because they, they supply us with the very good cameras since a long time and uh, we have been able with the, their support to develop the first uh, speeding system based on uh, vision technology. Gardasoft where we've got some exclusive news ahead of the release of the brand new industry technology development and Peter Bagger is going to tell me more about it. So Peter, explain a bit more. So we've developed um, Trinity technology. This is initially for machine vision systems. It provides connection right from the image processing system right down to the lights and other components in the system. It makes everything much more integrated, makes it easier to use, easier to set up and is um, a much more um, integrated environment for the whole system. Fantastic. Explain what this is then. So here we have a machine vision uh, demonstration of the product. Um, we have a camera system uh, in this case it's looking at products, in the case of the traffic system it will obviously be looking at uh, vehicles moving along the road. Then we have a, uh, a lighting system around it with our intelligent technology in the uh, chip in the here and a controller which is controlling the lighting. And you are the only people doing this at the moment I believe? We are, we're working with some lighting partners as well. It's our technology but we are introducing other lighting partners uh, into this technology and um, there are many other lighting uh, partners have been coming to us saying we want this technology, uh, where can we get it? And how is this relevant to ITS? So we're bringing the advantages of the Trinity technology into the ITS sector for example, this uh, lighting module here we, uh, runs with a GigiVision protocol, which means it directly uh, interfaces into the image processing packages, the top level packages uh, that people are already using uh, for processing their images, and that can directly talk to this now and gives you good, easy integration of the lights and the camera all in one system. To summarise, Trinity has been launched for the machine vision industry, but ITS readers, keep your eyes peeled because it'll be coming to you very soon. By the way, as well as innovative technology, Trinity also introduces freebies. Did you say free? Oh, thanks, Peter. I huh. wonder how this works. stand. Beats walking. Okay, so I hear you've got some exciting news. Tell me all about it. Yeah, you know, traditionally um, revenue generating applications like tolling and enforcement justified higher priced cameras in the last decade. But nowadays you will get, find a lot of different applications which do not uh, enable the customer to use high priced cameras. 
this is why we continuously expand our portfolio to address even the lower end applications, especially in traffic. Great. And is this one of the cameras that you're talking about? Exactly. This is uh, our new model, the Dart. And the Dart um, will have uh, different options. This is the brand new first model. And this will start with a list price of 99 euro and will enable our customers to generate very price competitive solutions for the traffic market like mobile ANPR or similar. Hey Paul, I could get used to this. So we're here on the Point Grey stand. Now you guys have many years of experience within the traffic industry and a huge range of cameras. Can you tell me a bit more about them? Right, so Point Grey is a seven year old company based out of British Columbia, Canada. And we have been supplying cameras with the machine vision for a very long time, but also traffic. Cameras ranging from Gigi Vision to USB 3 Vision, Fireware, Camera Link, all sorts of interfaces and uh, both CCD and CMOS technologies. Great, and what are the benefits for the traffic sector? The GigiVision interface, we've seen that be very applicable to, to traffic because of both cable length and high bandwidth, uh, low latency, uncompressed image data streaming. And, and we've seen that uh, being applied in a lot of, um, a lot of enforcement applications, a lot of uh, road user charging, um, red light, uh, uh, red light uh, intersection uh, enforcement, um, also on the USB 3 vision side, uh, we've seen uh, a lot of embedded on the edge processing, AMPR processing applications use USB 2 in the past and now with USB 3 becoming uh, really the technology of, of, of tomorrow and today, uh, we're seeing the, the embedded systems um, adapt and, and, and integrate USB 3 um, into that architecture and, and so we're taking advantage of that as well. Uh, on the sensor side, there's a lot of stuff going on. On the sensor side, we have both CCD and CMOS sensors technologies. CCDs um, have always been uh, sort of king and CMOS is coming in now. Uh, and, and the benefit for CMOS and traffic is the outdoor imaging uh, properties. Uh, with CCDs, we do experience some smear and, and blooming um, issues, especially with bright reflections. And CMOS doesn't have that problem. end of this year's vision show. It's been a busy one and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. My feet hurt and I think I deserve a cocktail. So we look forward to welcoming you back in Stuttgart, Germany 2016. Cheers.